I think one of the biggest problems for musicians is always building up a fan base, building up listeners and also transforming listeners to fans. One great tool, if used wisely, is definitely YouTube. That's what I'm doing here on this channel. But I wanted always to make a tip video for other musicians, how they could actually pull it off. And since I'm not the biggest YouTube expert, I actually have someone today visiting me at my studio that is an absolute YouTube expert. And we'll talk about how you as a musician can use YouTube to accomplish and build up a fan base. I'm at the main train station right here in Düsseldorf. Usually when I'm at the main train station, I'm picking someone else up. Usually singer songwriters take him to my studio, make a session the entire day, work on new songs. Something similar will today also happen in the studio, but not with a singer songwriter, with another producer and fellow YouTuber. If you're German, if you ever have watched any kind of German YouTube, You'll probably know him. So yeah, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Are you ready to explore the new studio? I'm so ready. I'm, I'm, you tell me like two years right now? Yes. Two years about that I should visit Almost you? Almost like three. Almost like three years. When was ADE? Three? Three, three years. Three years ago. Yeah. Oh my God. It's been a while. It's been a while, it's been a while. And you tell me like two years right now that I should <laughs> visit. <laughs> it's in the editing. Yeah, it's, a, it's in the editing. Okay, let's go, let's yeah. go. So would you follow me? Uh, that's the B studio. It's not really in use right now due to all the COVID stuff. Yeah. This is just empty at the moment. If anyone is interested, like just hit me up. You can have the B studio for now. You can hear it, like your voice in here. Ah, dry as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Office, table tennis, big new. Ooh. Let me turn on the lights. Holy shit. I saw it in the vlogs, yes. but it's even more impressive in person. Yes, and the lights look way more like yeah. more epic. Yeah. Like the camera can't translate it. Basically done with the first half of listening to music, checking some music. Marius is working on some can I tell? Yeah, some? yeah, yeah. He's working tell. on some music, <laughs> but like the details are secret and he just wanted to explore and hear the studio and everything. And he's right now <laughs> taking care of the thumbnail of my video of yesterday. So uh, <laughs> if it looked any kind of different, then it's because of him. He's an absolute YouTube expert. What was your channel like the 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 one of the biggest growing channels? Yeah. yeah. He has number like one eight. of number <laughs> eight biggest, fastest growing channel of 2020. Yeah. That's an accomplishment. Half a million, almost half a million. Half a million, yeah. That's like a lot for Germany. Three fifty k in in one year. Something That's like that. insane. Yeah. It took me it, five I years to get to a hundred. I didn't expect that either. <laughs> <laughs> I'll link his channel down below if you want to check it out. It's uh, it's all in German, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's hundred percent in German, but it's 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 funny stuff. Um, for example, how to beatbox in a week. Yeah, in how a to week. learn how to beatbox in a week. Very interesting. Since he's an absolute YouTube expert, I thought, why not ask him a little about some tips for YouTube, but yeah, of course. like for musicians, what should yeah. a musician do? But maybe first another music session and then later we'll talk about what you basically should do on YouTube when you do music, how you could use it as a tool. You should just follow me, follow me. We're done listening to music, making music. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. Learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and we promised you talking about YouTube because uh -huh. you're an expert when it comes to YouTube. Yeah, I'm doing it quite a while now. Yeah. Like and eight years, nine years. Whenever I have <laughs> anything that I need to know, you're the first one I'm calling. Yeah. Always. <laughs> and I'm always saying just 10 minutes, just 10. And then it's like an hour, <laughs> but valuable information. You helped me a lot. Thanks. And now let's see that we help other people a yeah. little bit. Yeah. First of, of all, I think every musician should have a YouTube channel. Nowadays, I think the the first misconception there is is oh we've we've got the pandemic right now. Yeah. I quickly start a YouTube channel and grow it like nothing. Uh, that's not working. That's not how it works. It, it it's mostly like you will have to do. That's the first illusion I want to break. Yeah. You will have in in ninety nine percent of cases have to put in like three to four years of 
work until it starts to do like anything yeah. I, <laughs> basically I can, I can just like my channel <laughs> the first three years i did daily vlogs yeah. and didn't even have ten thousand subscribers every artist out there should have a youtube channel not yeah. to become a youtuber but no. because uh youtube is a fantastic platform to get an audience um yeah. because i think the greatest youtubers aren't those that are just youtubers the greatest youtubers are those who uh are entertainers magicians uh musicians experts on something experts in something and use youtube as their platform to yeah. showcase their skills and be it that maybe you're a comedian maybe you're funny so yeah. you can do youtube videos where you tell jokes or something something like that um and for a musician you can showcase your production skills as you do you can yeah. showcase um your music your music videos and that's the most interesting part you can do creative stuff and creative content with music so you can do covers you can do challenges like i don't know uh produce a song without hearing it just yeah. by looking at yeah. the analyzers uh that book that i need to do it you you, you need to do it <laughs> like without um, <laughs> but let, let's say you're like a bedroom yeah. producer yeah and you make music and really release it on spotify and you have not really a fan base mm -hmm. so the start is extremely hard should you still show everyone how you make the song or should you just upload your music to youtube i think it depends on the goal you have if the ultimate goal is um to reach as many people as possible with your song and um that nothing matters but your song has has to gain place yeah i don't think youtube is the platform for that yeah. if you want to build a, a sustainable brand if you want to build a personality that's that's what youtube is for but if you just want to gain place i think it's smarter to post it on reddit yeah. to um post it on tiktok and not just like post it once i think uh Linus x is a fantastic example who did things like uh, posting on reddit so reddit posts where he asked what was the song with the line with the old town road and the horse and answers <laughs> them by himself with another account and writes linus x old town road that's smart so if someone googles that line yeah they find his own reddit post he also used to post memes on tiktok every fucking day for like a year straight uh with his, with his own song on twitter on TikTok on Instagram reels if you want to um get on on the on the short medium content music based uh hype train content hype train right now Instagram is a great yeah. place because they boosting the new function reels as hell um I think those are the platforms you want to uh use if you want to grow your just your listener base the listener base is marketing wise a very different thing from yeah, your fan base definitely they ju they're just interested in yeah. a good song you, they don't care about you the need person. to convert listeners to fans and that's a, that's where i think youtube is a great place for yeah. if you already have listeners if you already got traffic uh and want to expand your music brand you uh, want to do a youtube channel where you showcase your personality the things that go into a song that they already love um, but, but should it stay focused on the topic let's say you're a musician yeah. should then your youtube channel just be about you and your music or could you also no, do it, funny stuff just yeah just to promote course. yourself um it always has to the the one question you have to ask yourself is what is the bigger goal what do you want ultimately do you want to be a dj that tours the world or do you want to be and people should know you for your music and don't necessarily know your face i mean a perfect example is i think jonas blue yeah everybody knows jonas blue songs but nobody knows no. how jonas blue looks like also jack jones like jack these, jones these, yeah this pop edm yeah guys. yeah you know the songs you don't yeah you don't know or do you want to be a famous personality like martin garrix or zed if that's the goal you can do personality driven content like uh challenges vlogs other stuff if you renovate your home or something or like your that studio. or your studio <laughs> um but if you just want to 
people to care about your music. Basing content around your music is, is the best idea. Okay, so how the music was made. How the, how the music was made. But maybe not so nerdy that only the, other music yeah. producers watch it. Maybe more general. I think that John Valian does a, does a good job of that. It's more, yeah. I think, more of like an MTV documentary. Yeah. You don't see MTV documentaries are talking about uh, parallel compression or yeah. multiband no. compression. <laughs> Um, so that the general person yeah. gets an idea for how so, it was made. Since like where, since like like, yeah, playing. Oh, th that's nice chords. Yeah, yeah. And that's how you figured out the course of your massive yeah, global. Definitely. Hit. Yeah. So I think the easy content. Yeah, I think the thing that most people get wrong. Uh, there are two things basically that most people get wrong at the beginning. First, the span it takes to build your online brand. Yeah. The, the time it takes. Second, they just think, okay, uh, then I'm just be, I just upload to YouTube. I'm a YouTuber. Then I do some social media stuff, and that's it. You, you have, as with everything else in life, you have to be, have to have a goal. Yeah. If you start m making music, you have to go to gain listeners that your song is maybe played on the radio. If you start to, be, to paint, you want to have your painting at a gallery, and everything else should be a should should work in favor of that goal yeah, kind of helping it yeah pushing yeah. it i mean it's same with my channel like i actually initially didn't start it to push my music but it helps yeah of course if you then decide okay i've already got a youtube channel or if you decide okay i like music but i also want to really grow my youtube channel then the then the premise starts to shift then you should think about okay what's content that works on youtube and that does not restrict what you uh, yeah. do within the video the only that's the third misconception i think you're not restricted what you can do within your video except you maybe i don't know shoot somebody that that's not so good but <laughs> everything uh, youtube allows you to do anything youtube allows you to do yeah can have an audience it's more about the packing packaging how you deliver the content how your video is structured what you do with title thumbnails and um to keep the watcher and uh, the, the viewer, like, viewer yeah. engaged about viewer retention rate that's because those are like the key things yeah thumbnail thumbnail watch time watch time if you got those two right your and, channel will be a massive su success. And just like just uploading the music, does that make sense on YouTube? Uh, if you want to grow a separate fan base, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's, if you want to just have another platform or uh, another service where people can listen to your music, that's fine. Yeah. But if you want to create an independent YouTube uh, YouTube audience, yeah. So using YouTube to its full potential, yeah. just putting the music up there. Isn't, isn't enough. It isn't gonna cut it. Isn't gonna cut it. You so, have to uh, integrate several things. You have to get get your good storytelling, good personality, interesting content, a whole range of things. You have to really develop dedicated content for YouTube to yeah. if you succeed. But if you think about it, it, makes sense because you're competing with other people who do dedicated content yeah. just for the platform. Just so YouTubers you won't be able to to compete with people who do it dedicatedly if you just yeah. do it like, uh, I just throw a video on there. And what kind of, like, let's give a couple of examples yeah. what could work. I think for music producers, music production T tutorial tutorials, is obvious. Tutorials, obviously. Um, Maybe reviews. Yeah, plugin reviews. If Basically everything good. I do on my yeah, channel. That, <laughs> Studio those, construction. This will work with the other things that will work a bit more tricky to come up with because I think um, if you do niche content like music you can do it for like a year and then you will start running into oh i did that already yeah. i did that already oh, i've I done did. every tutorial yeah. possible and then it's then it gets tricky i think a good a good way to think about it is take for example a, a process you've done thousands of times producing a track what elements can you take away to make it more interesting seem impossible make it for a challenge for yourself so not listening okay. without a monitor uh, only use one note only using stock plugins uh, only using stock plugins or uh, producing a song just on your iphone oh god <laughs> yeah yeah like those making are, a challenge those out are of interesting it. videos already like five videos you can do right now bam Easy. That's a good idea. I should maybe, <laughs> maybe start doing some Easy. challenge videos. Um, and 
they are also within the music related context so they yeah. also fit to each other other things are like okay i just want to uh, recreate a song by the red hot chili peppers only using red hot chili peppers yeah that's andrew huang yeah classic so, content yeah such things yeah that definitely works on or YouTube. producing more crazy stuff like producing seven tr uh, seven full tracks in seven days it's yeah. it makes like a catchy if you imagine it like a headline yeah it looks catchy. good seven tracks in seven days it looks good and it seems impossible yeah. everyone wants to see yeah. how you fail and and laugh and to <laughs> test your ideas maybe think about telling your friend just the headline and think about if they would be hooked to tell you more about that okay. if for example i did a video on my channel where i walked i tried to walk 24 hours without uh, stopping basically any time so and, I, and now i want to know yeah, more so about if it I tell it's you, crazy last thursday yeah. i tried walking 24 hours without stopping you'll be like well tell me more because yeah it's insane. this statement seems insane and interesting and this is how you should choose to uh, choose the titles so for example for music production instead of like how to parallel compress yeah which like your audience will be only people that already know what parallel compression is and why should they watch a video about yeah. parallel compression so maybe think about something more general that think about, still picks up the people yeah think about something more general that hooks but on but really important point doesn't this doesn't disappoint yeah so if maybe maybe the most classic music production technique for example, would for be example. better than how or to parallel compress. even better yeah i'm just by glossing up the packaging think about how can i develop a story around parallel compression okay. that interests people for example if, if if it's the most used technique in music ever yeah you can make a kind of video essay going back through the history through the songs through the first use who developed it yeah. and make like a, a, like a vox like a mini documentary like, about like, parallel compression yeah. instead of that's the same topic but a different take on it and everyone can understand it because you're explaining yeah. it from start to finish the history of yeah it. yeah i also did but i should do more of that kind of stuff it's, it's good it's yeah. good it's interesting <laughs> it now even interests me because I use parallel compression, but I never thought like how it originated. And it could be a nice story for me, Fox, for you. 100%. I just need to find it's the like time to video research essay, it. Research it, uh, then take a camera, explain it to the camera, yeah. search th some nice co copyright free images, maybe from the, uh, that you can overlay for yes, the video. Yes. So you have a more vivid um, story to tell. And I really love that we're doing that on camera because I think many people <laughs> struggle to invent content for themselves. And yeah. those talks, we, this talk we have right now is the, a typical phone call. Yeah, that, that would, be, that would <laughs> be. It's also already longer than <laughs> my usual videos, but it's good. We'll, yeah. we'll keep it intact as one piece. Be an expert in something. Be an expert on th something. And, and, and share your knowledge. Leverage that expertise in an interesting way way yeah try always to tell a story a story simply is isn't complicated it's stories most of the time just they got one problem to solve yeah which breaks down in several small several smaller problems but they all lead to this one problem they need to solve and that's the story lord of the rings they yeah. need to throw the ring yeah into the mountain free films free books <laughs> over thousands of pages yeah. just one problem yeah <laughs> frodo was a little yeah. complicated <laughs> it could have so been so easy just just take your expertise and say okay um there's a problem my vocals always stand out of the mix okay now i want to tell a story of how to fix it yeah i start at the beginning okay i've got vocals that stuck out of my mix this was the problem when microphones for microphones this i always try to tell the story I story as big as possible so where's the earliest study point starting point where it can begin back when microphones were first invented people got those problems so they invented this and that yes, machine to solve it. to solve it and now you and still have some problem and you solve it and then it, you show how yeah yeah that's like satis it's satisfying it's satisfying it's and satisfying. people 
stay engaged and watch and it from start try, to end. That's 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 a point I always say to John. Stay, yeah. s s try to stay on track with your story. Don't yeah. get sidetracked I'm, too I'm, much. I'm sidetracked really fast. <laughs> but that, that's also the, the daily vlogging grind thing. <laughs> I get sidetracked. There's a lot going on yeah, I like to yeah. share. But yeah, like being like focused and and having like one theme and topic what if someone doesn't have anything where he's like let's say a beginner producer yeah. he couldn't really make tutorials because he's maybe not there yet or should he still do no it? then he can leverage that he could share his he evolving should, he, like he could how share he his evolves. progress yeah. or he should could videos could do videos like fl noob tries to um remake some arbitrary hit yeah. and then you make a video where you say, okay, I'm producing just for two months right now, and I'm trying to make this remake this massive chain smokers yeah. global hit. You got again your challenge, problem, and, and solution. Yes, and challenge, problem, to get solution, there. and you've got a unique selling point. Only you can do it in your position because You're, if you want, if yeah. you would do it, it's like, of course you can do it. He does it for years right now. Yeah. But if uh, a beginner does it, it's it's, it's interesting wow, as yeah. a sudden. It's a yeah, it's a bigger conflict. Yeah. It's a bigger, bigger Always story. Always try to... So uh, even if, if someone is a beginner, he could start sharing how he learns a DAW yeah, for course. the first time. And I'm sure there are a lot of beginners that also need to know how a DAW works. And seeing someone else figuring it out yeah. might be an interesting video. Of course. Always a story in everything. Yeah. Music marketing I is a big topic. I can tell you a story about this one. <laughs> the trackpad. Yeah, the trackpad. I could also like it didn't work at the beginning today, so <laughs> it was complicated. There was a conflict. I solved it by charging it, and we could work on some some music. Yeah, yeah. that's the thing. So thanks a lot for this little yeah. interview, Every time. kind of some tips and tricks. I hope it helped you. I'll link his channel down below, and we need to catch a train. Yeah, we'll try to catch a train. It was a pleasure. Yeah, but it was also sorry fun. for my English. It was a no, bit broken. I'm not used to bit, speaking no, English. They're, they're, it's, a bit, it's a bit rusty. <laughs> they're used to broken English. <laughs> It, I'm here already. It's a bit rusty. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. They're used to broken English. Everyone on this channel sucks speaking English. <laughs> like, no, no, no problem. It's okay. Fine. Anyways, thanks, thanks for, for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.